Hello and welcome to Team Liquid's strategy guide series for Amir Jassil, The Dream's Hope. I'm Aya, and today I'm presenting Telegon's breakdown of the mechanics and strategy for Heroic Volkaros. Volkaros is intended to be fought fairly early on in this raid, and as a result, the mechanics and construction are fairly simple. This encounter's flow is defined primarily by the ability Flood of the Firelands. Casted whenever the boss reaches 100 energy, it causes two soaks to appear that each require a minimum of four players. When the soaks resolve, they knock the soaking players away from the center and leave behind pools of Hellboil behind, rendering a significant portion of the platform unplayable. The following cast of Flood and Firelands will spawn two soaks on opposite sides of the arena. As a result, we will split our raid into two groups, which separate after the first set of soaks and operate on opposite sides of the arena until the area denial brings the two teams back together for the third cast of Flood of the Firelands. As each team moves either clockwise or counterclockwise around the ring arena, you will deal with several mechanics in addition to the Flood of the Firelands. The first of these is called Volcanic Disgorge. This ability targets a player on each side of the arena and causes Hellboil Era Denial to spawn around them, forcing both teams further along the ring. The boss periodically slams each side with Scorchtail Crash, which causes a thick segment of the ring to become darkened by shadow before the boss tail slams down, after which waves of lava propagate perpendicularly from the tail on heroic difficulty. This mechanic is deadly and should be dodged. The heroic wave also deals a significant amount of damage and should be avoided. While you move around the arena, avoiding tail smashes and baiting hellboils, the boss will cast Serpent's Fury. This deals damage to all players for 5 seconds, debuffing several players with Coiling Flames. Coiling Flames causes fiery swirls around the affected players, pulsing damage in a radius around their characters. Make sure to not leave your teammates if targeted with this debuff. Tanks have two abilities to juggle throughout the fight. These abilities are called Molten Venom and Cataclysm Jaws. Molten Venom causes Volkaros' melee attacks to apply a stacking debuff to his target that increases damage taken from Cataclysm Jaws. As a result, you'll want to take Cataclysm Jaws without stacks of Molten Venom. Throughout the fight, the boss pulses fire damage to all players through Burning Vertebrae. At the end of the fight, it can be assumed that after you soak the final Flood of the Firelands, that the encounter is meant to end shortly after due to Serpent's Wrath, which enrages the boss. And with that, we very much hope you found this guide useful. Please feel free to leave feedback or commentary below, and make sure to keep your eye on this channel as more guides will be coming out soon. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.